Yeah, Christopher, we're out here on San Jose Road, and if you take a look behind me, a little ways down, crews have been working all day to get trees off of some power lines and clean up to open up this road. Now, this is just one of nearly a dozen roads in Santa Cruz County that are closed and has caused a little bit of an inconvenience for some drivers. Once in a while, I've run into this problem uh, where I have to backtrack and go now. Now I'll have to turn around, go back to 17. Rosemary Dost is just one of many drivers who have had to turn her car around because of trees falling into roadways and crushing power lines. Like this one on San Jose Road in SoCal. Residents who take this road every day, like Leland Beller, understand that it happens. And this is something to expect during the storm season. Oh yeah, I was, I was heading to um, uh, Capitola, and, um, but now we got to go through Scotts Valley. Mm -hmm. Other roads have also been shut down because of roadway flooding. Yesterday, nearly a thousand customers were without power in Santa Cruz County alone. And over the weekend, pg and &E has been fixing those lines and addressing the issue. With a break in the storm, crews have been working tirelessly to fix the damages, preparing for the storm ahead that some are not looking forward to. Well, I'm getting a little bit tired of the rain. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many inches of water we've had this year, but a lot. And workers are telling us that they're working to install a new power pole and are hoping to have this road open back up around 11 p.m. tonight. Reporting live in SoCal, Kyla Linville, KSBW Action News 8. <laughs>